but come. Woo me. Woohoo me. <laughs> For now, I am in a holiday humour and like enough to consent. What would you say to me now? And I were your very, very Rosalind. I would kiss before I spoke. Nay! Yeah. You were better speak first. And when you were graveled for lack of matter, then you might take occasion to kiss. How if the kiss be denied? Then she puts you to entreaty, and there begins new matter. Who could be out being before his beloved mistress? Marry, that should you, if I were your mistress. Or I should think my honesty ranker than my wit. What am I saying? Woo! Not out of your apparel! <laughs> and yet, out of your suit, <laughs> am not I your Rosalind? Take some joy to say you are, because I would be talking of her. Wow. In her person, <laughs> I say, woo, I will not have you. Then in mine own person, I die. No. The poor world is almost 6,000 years old, and in all that time, there was not any man died in a love cause. Troilus had his brains dashed out with a Grecian club, and he is one of the very patterns of love. I mean, Leander, he would have lived many a fair year had it not been for a hot midsummer night. For, good youth, he went but forth to wash him in the Hellas pond and being taken with the cramp, was drowned. And men have died from time to time, and worms have eaten them, but not for love. I would not have my right Rosalind of this mind, for I protest her frown might kill me. By this hand, it will not kill a fly. But come, now I will be your Rosalind in a more coming on disposition. Ask me what you will. I will grant it. Then love me, Rosalind. Yes, faith will I. Fridays and Saturdays and all. And wilt thou have me? I and twenty such. What sayest thou? Are you not good? I hope so. Why then can one desire too much of a good thing? <laughs> Come, sister, you shall be the priest and marry us. Give me your hand, Orlando. What do you say, sister? Pray thee, marry us. I cannot say the words. 